Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking another look at VeChain. If we go back to the prices on the Coinbase marketplace right now, we're seeing massive green around and across the board. We're seeing a lot of new coins also taking big green profits as well. Uh, you know, Tron 17.57%, Theta 10.59%. Binance BNB, we've talked about that on this channel below that $400 mark. I told you guys about how insane the price increase was going to be. Um, we're seeing massive, massive increases. Uh, it was around that $380 mark, I think, when um, we were making the video. And I just, I mean, Binance BNB, it's it's one of those coins you just know it's going up. It's It's got so much, so much reasons to go. So many reasons, I guess, is the word wording I'm looking for. So many reasons to go up. And so we've been seeing Binance BNB continue to rise. Uh, but if we take a look around the market, everything is green and there's no better time than now for people invested in crypto. Um, things like, I mean, 19.72% uh, 19 BitTorrent increase. I mean, just massive. But the one we're going to look at today is VeChain. VeChain is at 11 cents right now at about a 10.6% increase in the last 24 hours. In the last week alone, a 30% increase, even after that massive dip that we saw in every coin. In the last month, a 102% increase. So we're seeing a very, very large spike um, for VET, VET alone. And we're seeing that 10.6% uh, increase. We're right around 12 cents right now um, on our way to 12 cents. Um, just a lot of potential behind this coin. And I'm excited to talk more about VeChain today because the market cap is only at $7.4 billion. The volume in the last 24 hours being that $1 billion and the circulating supply being that $64.3 billion VET. So if we talk about VeChain as a cryptocurrency smart contracts platform focused Focused on supply chain management, it allows manufacturers to add sensors such as RFID tags to their products that can then record data onto the VeChain blockchain. So if you don't know much about VeChain, it's your lucky day. We're going to do a brief overview of VeChain and then we're going to jump back in and do price predictions for April, May and 2021. VeChain is definitely one of those coins we talk a lot about on this channel. So if you like VeChain or if you want to learn more about every altcoin, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel right now, as well as turn notifications on so you get notified every time we make a new video specifically on VeChain. So let's take a look at what VeChain really is and uh, what it has to offer. So first off, we'll talk about VeChain Thor, the public blockchain that derives its value from activities created by members within the ecosystem solving real world economic problems you can learn more about it on the white paper and github as well as read down here and see there's more resources for you to click on and jump into research so meta transaction features so we have a lot here for us to review we're just going to quickly go over um you know this kind of stuff we're going to kind of fly through the summary and then jump straight into those price predictions that you guys are all waiting for so controllable transaction lifecycle, we have the MTT multitask transaction, the transaction dependency, as well as the fee delegation. All four of those are very important to what we have to offer with VeChain. Uh, I am on VeChain.org, so if you want to take a look at some of this stuff more into detail, definitely do so. Um, so we have the low computation power required to achieve the network security and consensus integrity. We have the controlled via built-in smart contract. Hard forks can be avoided in case authority masternodes fail to upgrade. All authority masternode operators identify are strictly verified by the foundation and they talk more about their 101 authority master nodes academic research partners blockchain developers community contributors business and technical partners and enterprise users as we go down a little more we read a little bit more into governance the economic model as well as the v chain foundation grant and uh, v chain sync as well like i said the v chain foundation grant these are very big as well if you want to apply now you can do so obviously uh, this won't apply to most people uh, but it's just very cool the, all the uh, you know possibilities and potential behind this coin there's so much you know that you can do with this utility token altogether um, and because of that i think it's one of those coins that everyone should really take a look at and at least add it to their watch list in case there is a good entry point or dip coming in the near future so stakeholders benefit from collective value creation through the development of the ecosystem so we have the v chain foundation community investors institutional partners research partners developers and startups and enterprise users and partners then obviously we have the committee at the bottom as well as the advisory board so if you want to learn more uh, I definitely would sign up for this newsletter at the very bottom. You can learn more about VeChain every time they have, you know, big announcements or news. Um, if you go to their news, unfortunately, they don't really update this at all. Um, we don't see anything since December 23rd. 
Uh, I will say that uh, if you scroll down here and see the latest news, though, you can see that they did have something January 28th, and they were actually updating us quite a lot in January. But right now, they have a lot going on. I understand they're doing so many different projects. That, you know, they want to come out with something big. I think when they do come out with a news article or a you know big project that they are working on uh, or new information on when you know some of these times and dates, I think that's going to be pretty big. I think we're going to like what we hear. I think there's going to be, like I said, a lot of potential behind this coin. And because of that, I think the announcement. Uh, you know, when they come are going to be massive. A lot of more people are going to be jumping on this train because they know it's not going to come to a halt very quickly. If we go to the, uh, you know, the price for VeChain, let's get a quick refresh. Obviously, by the time you guys are looking at this, it could change just a little bit. We could see a 12, 13 cents or maybe even um, 10 cents. But I would I would doubt we actually go too much lower than that as we are at a very good price for VeChain. I think a lot of people are going to be entering at this 11.55. Um, you know, a lot of people were nervous about how far the market was going to tank. So a lot of people didn't buy at this 10 cents on VeChain. However, I will say that was a great entry point for VeChain. Obviously, I talked about how all these altcoins were on sale yesterday. If you follow the channel, like like I always tell you guys, subscribe to the channel um, because we do talk about you know the market as a whole as well during some of these other uh, you know altcoin reviews. So we do see a lot of potential in VeChain, and because of that, we're going to do our price predictions now for April, May, and 2021. I will say, guys, as well, if you guys want to talk with crypto like-minded people like myself, you can jump into the Discord channel. It is linked in the description below as well as Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter and get that most recent up-to-date information as well there. So like I said previously, let's jump into April's price prediction. So we see it right around 11 cents. We're climbing currently uh, around that uh, 11 and a half cents. Um, but I do see, you know, potential for us to jump to a 12, 12 to 13 cents by the end of today already. I think, like I said, there's a lot of potential behind VeChain. And I think a lot of that is going to become a recovery period for us to get back to that 12 cents that we once saw. Um, you know, that 12, that 12 cents was our all time high. So we are very close to our all time high still. So if you go to the one year, I do want you guys to take a look at this. You know, we're climbing fairly well, very, very, fairly rapidly as well. Just, I mean, March was just a complete, a complete uphill battle and that was all it was. I mean, we just straight up, I think that could be April yet again. However, I do think we are going to see a small, uh, a small stabilization or correction just for a little bit longer because I mean, this was a massive increase without pretty much any stops. Uh, we didn't have much of a, I mean, look at this just up. I mean, a little bit of a stabilization correction up a little bit, a little bit up. Uh, so it's a, it's a so on and so forth. Obviously V chain is going to continue to follow this pattern for a little bit longer. I think in April, we're going to continue to see increases. I'd say we see about a 15, 16 cent um, in April alone for VeChain. At the very least, I think 16 cents would be our all-time high, 15 cents as a stabilization spot. Uh, and I think this is a very, very spot, you know, it's spot on correction or I guess spot on prediction because, you know, you guys do like to know, um, you know, I do make those, uh, conservative price predictions and reasonable and realistic as possible. Um, and I think that's, you know, as realistic as it gets 15 to 16 cents, I would be lying to you if I thought it would be any lower or higher. Uh, you know, I, it could definitely be higher. If anything, I don't see it being much lower. I think V chain is on one way path up, up, up. And I think going into April, um, you know, we're looking pretty good. I think by the end of May, uh, we're going to be looking at it, maybe even a 25 to 30 cent coin. I think this could continue to rise. Mind you, I mean, Two to three X is nothing that we haven't seen VeChain do before. I think by the end of May, I think we have a chance at another two to three X. So like I said, 30 cents is about where I see VeChain by the end of May. I think we can continue to see it rise as well. 32 cents is an all time high, 30 cents as the stabilization spot. That's about where I predict VeChain to be in the end of May. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. We'll do daily updates. Obviously that price prediction could change based on new information that you know comes out and everything. But let's jump over to 2021. So I think 2021 is gonna be a great year for VeChain as well as all altcoins pretty much that have potential or you know a vision that uh, you know really is unique that uh, could you know help a lot of people either speed up their work or you know continue work at a faster rate um, obviously speeding up your work but you know I think VeChain is going to continue to rise I think we're going to see a 60 to 75 cent coin at the very least by the end of 2021 uh, I do think it'll slow down a little bit after these next couple months uh, I think it does depend a lot on when these news um, you know the new information that VeChain has uh, kind of hidden away right now when this information comes out or when the new uh, you know projects are released we're going to see a lot of increasing in vchain i think you know 60 to 70 cents is very reasonable 
I think, you know, six to seven X is definitely a possibility this year. So we'll see what happens. I think about a 65% or 65 cent all time high and a 60 cent stabilization is where I see V chain about, you know, that's my price prediction for 2021. So thank you guys for coming today for today's video and jumping in with me and doing a deep dive on V chain and where we see the price prediction. I do think we, you know, we all together see just straight increases coming for V chain. We saw, you know, 24 hour period, of 10, a 10% 10 increase, the 30% increase from a week, a 102% increase from a month, a 2,811% increase in the year. So we're seeing just, I mean, awesome, awesome potential behind this coin. And we will continue to cover this utility token. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.